just so citrusy and fresh. Please drink responsibly, legal drinking age only, wherever you might be. Today we're talking about ginny ginny gin gin gin. So right gin, est unis modus veris. There is a right way. I usually like to tell people, if you don't like gin, it's just because you haven't had the right gin. But also, seriously, um, it's because you haven't had the right gin yet. Right Gin was created back in 2009 at a time when gin itself wasn't really as big of a category as it is today. It came to the market to try and showcase how different a gin could be from the perception of gin. Oh, I don't really like to drink gin. It's, it just tastes like drinking pine needles. That's because of the juniper berry that's in there. It's very resinous, to use a geeky tasting term. Uh, I don't like gins that are very resinous. I mean, that's fine. You don't like piney gins. Overall flavor profile of right is very citrus forward. Even though the juniper is in there, the most predominant flavor on the palate is not the juniper. It's actually citrus. There's lots of lemon and orange and key lime, coriander leaf, and then bergamot, Indian green cardamom with a little bit of black pepper on the finish. So right gin is actually what I would call a new western style compound gin. And I know that's a ridiculously long name that seems just complex, but let's break it down so we kind of analyze why. So a new Western style gin. This is a newer term that came about to help define these styles of gin that were not juniper forward. Yes, to legally be called gin, the predominant botanical does need to be juniper berry, but it doesn't mean that you can't also balance it out with other things or highlight other ingredients that may help better tame the intense oily piney notes. So that's why I would say this is a new Western style gin. I also like to say it's a compound style gin. And a compound style gin means that every botanical is distilled separately. That means that the juniper berry is distilled to best extract the character of juniper berry. The bergamot is then distilled separately to best extract the character of bergamot. These individual components are then blended together by a gentleman named Henrik Fasil. The Henrik is a master blender. I would say that he constructs flavor the same way that a great perfumer would construct in top notes, base notes, tertiary notes. Finally, right gin is from Sweden. Why, you might ask? Well, that's because of the water that's used for right gin. At 47% ABV, that means that 53% of this bottle is made up of water. And when right gin was first developed in 2009, they tasted over 200 different water samples. And so they selected water coming from Lake Bullman in Malmo, Sweden. This is a protected Arctic source. I have personally tasted this water and I can say that it is the least refreshing water I have ever had. It is heavy and kind of oily on the palate, which makes perfect sense as to why this was used to balance out what was such a citrus forward profile in Wright. The base spirit that's used for Wright, it's an American sweet corn that also develops a big, strong, sweet kind of base that they can then construct the citrus botanicals on top of. Now you may have seen Wright gin in a different bottle up until 2019. We went from the 40% version in this beautiful bottle to this new version at 47% in this much more bartender friendly bottle. And so what we did is we tasted eight different proof points. And this was tasted amidst bartenders from all over. Not only neat, we also wanted to test it in cocktail. So we tested it in a martini, we tested it in a Tom Collins, and of course we tested it in the gin and tonic. And we pulled all of these bartenders as well as consumers on what their favorites were. The two favorites were 46% and 47%. 46% was preferred by many tasting it neat. However, in cocktail, 47% was the favorite. And by the way, this is some super nerdy stuff that we do, right? But that's what we love because the work is done on our end, not on your end. We wanted to find out which of these tasted the best in cocktail, and we wanted to pull the experts that we know and trust, which are the bartenders. And that is why we rebottled at 47%. We also then wanted to evolve the bottle so it was much more bartender friendly. It's also a stock bottle, meaning that we get to focus on the liquid inside and not just putting it into a fancy package. Right Gin is available nationally. If you've not had it before, definitely ask for it. Hunt it down because it is totally unique. And like I said, if you don't like gin, you probably just not had the right gin. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and let me know in the comments below. Do you like gin? Do you love gin? Do you hate gin? If you do love gin, what are some of your favorite gin cocktails? I'd love to know. Thanks for watching. See you soon. I'm waving with a bottle. 
拜。